<laughs> yeah, I always I tend to do it after a, the musical interlude. <laughs> <laughs> Scary one away. But you you recovered from your jab, Joyce. Oh yes, but I'm having flu one today. Oh right. <laughs> Yeah, what, last week. What last week wiped me out. Sorry. What reaction did you have then? Just sort I, of I, well, sort of um, on the day, I just could not stay awake. I was totally oh. wiped out, and then the next morning, I just felt, uh, oh, I mean, uh, and yeah. uh, fortunately, the 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 sort of I woke up, <laughs> which probably wasn't a good thing. <laughs> But then after, after Tuesday, it was fine. Right. And uh, I took antihistamines uh, before and during because um, my husband had a bad reaction to the the week before. Right, right. And uh, it was a different, it was a different um, uh, mix, concoction. you know. <laughs> yes, it was a different yeah. concoction. It was one we'd never heard of. Oh, um, really? And uh, I, I didn't have any problems with the others. Yeah, right. I had mine on Wednesday. It was the um, Moderna. And I hadn't had that before. I'd only had the Pfizer for the previous three. So I was a bit nervous. But no no effects whatsoever. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 So that was good. Was and I'm not, not anticipating any problems with the flu one because I don't usually. No, no. I, I was always... listening on the radio. I don't know when it was. It might have been just now. And there was some, I might have been on radio today program. There's a guy, an American guy, and they were, they were on about what we should be, because they are, oh, that was it. They're doing a, what's it, the, the inquiry on the, what they did during the pandemic, and, you know, and, and how they handled it and that. There's a, they do that and it's just starting today and the americans have already done it they've already sort of been through it and there was a guy on there that he wrote 10 years ago and he predicted all these it said about all these things and the scientists were saying and they even told said he even said you know it's likely to be um the ones to watch for with it the fl it flu obviously the flu virus and the covid because mm. they're the ones, the viruses that can transmute from animals to people. And they even predicted 10 years ago that it would probably come from bats in, oh. in, in an open market situation. Crikey. And that's not <laughs> that in um, conspiracy rubbish. That's written paper, you know, mm. um, mm -hmm. printed papers. Mm -hmm. so, and, and, they were, and what they were saying was that we need back then was there's got to work out a way to prepare for it because they were saying that if you can once you spot these things if you can isolate them straight away you can keep it restricted to sort of just a handful of people before mm. it's sort of so mm. the, they reckon the, the worst the, the, the real danger at the moment is avian bird flu yeah that's so um... 98 million chickens in the country in the UK or whatever it is, and those workers are all being exposed to it, so it's a big threat. Mm. That's why they've killed, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of birds in the last few weeks, few months. Yeah, I saw the turkeys on the news last night, wasn't it? Um, all right, once you cook them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a big turkey farm was uh, having to kill all the Mm. Not a lot to look forward to, really, is it? <laughs> that, yeah, and some idiot. Yeah. I'm just going to get a knife and cut my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh, well, just to cheer you up, just to cheer you up, it would have been my silver wedding anniversary today. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So how, that's how many silver? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Mm. We would we lived together for 10 years before we got married because we'd both been married before and we both said not rushing into it ask me again in 10 years was my exact <laughs> words and, um, and he did <laughs> right. oh. so um yeah 
Um, but, and we also said, sort of joking about it, we said, oh, well, we, we're, you know, we're never going to make our golden, but we'll make a big deal of the silver. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm going out to lunch with Kathy this morning. She had. Oh, right. well, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. She rang me up this morning and said, "Meet me, meet me today, Mum. We'll go for lunch." So that's right. nice. You just yeah. never know what's around the corner, do you? No, no you don't. absolutely no. not. No, no you really don't. Anyway, where are you going for lunch? You know. Or? Oh. No, we're special. I we're right. just we might we might just go up to um where Rob works, her partner in in Mordain. Right. right. I don't. I don't know. I didn't ask. I'm driving. <laughs> she <doesn't>. right. <laughs> so I'm picking her up, <laughs> taking her wherever we're going. I'm taking myself. Sounds <laughs> like fun. It should be interesting. I haven't been out. I haven't been out um for a couple of days in the car. But there's one lane of the dual carriageway being closed right outside between the um, Alderney and the Mountbatten roundabouts. They're, oh. they're doing something. Oh. It comes through the cycle lanes out its back. Oh, um, God. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to alternate, closing one lane. Morning. Lane. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Oh, hang on, I just got to go and let my carer in there. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> we waited patiently. <laughs> yeah, so that should be interesting when I go oh, out. Later. Yeah. Can you go another route or? No, there's only one road right. in and out of our estate. And it goes directly onto the dual carriageway. Right. Well, they've got to do it, whatever it is. They're always going to, it's never going to be a convenient time, is there? Unless they do no, it all the time. No. Between half past nine Better and now than a few months ago when the whole grockles were everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Premium, yeah. And they're, they are sort of doing the roadworks between half nine and three, so it shouldn't affect oh, right. the majority of people for work and school. Make, make sure got, you come back after three. <laughs> think, think of it on the positive all the money you're saving because you can't get out to the shops yeah <laughs> the money you're saving on yeah. the festival yeah it's a major obstacle to get to the range now isn't it you know so. oh. oh yeah, yeah. And i dropped a plant pot on my foot the other day so i've got right, my Carol. foot is all battered yeah. and bruised <laughs> oh. so i can't even walk anywhere oh oh <laughs> So, yeah, I'm very sorry for myself today, and I should. Oh, yeah. oh dear, never mind. <laughs> Talking of COVID, I got James said he didn't feel very well yesterday, and he had a, I think he's got a head cold or something, and he was. And it, uh, next thing I, I was that, I gave him a, him a mail a packet of the box of the tests, the quick tests, and then I, Dave, can you give James a hand? Oh, so I goes down. It. And they'd gone through three tests and they were all, <gasps> and it happened. And I thought, well, oh. that's unusual. And um, mm. I, it's just a duff box, really. Because when I was, I've done it loads of times. When I did it, I thought, do you know what? There ain't a lot of liquid in there. And you sort oh. of, not much coming out. And I think when you go like this, with this, you sort of squeeze the swab, don't you? And just get yeah. the, I think the swab was soaking up all the juice. Anyway, because the one or not. So. I had that the other day because I did a test because I felt a bit funny and I, I was going to see a friend. So I just did, and I had the same thing, and there was no liquid coming out when I went to squeeze it in the thing. And I don't know whether uh, it's because yeah. I didn't squeeze the pad or whether sometimes you might get an odd one that hasn't got yes. a lot in. Mm. Yeah, I, I have luckily the the chemist, the guy that delivers the um the chemist stuff, the drugs and that, he get he just bung me a few boxes the last time he came so I opened up another you were box. lucky then yeah. 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 I opened up another box and the, I thought it was funny because there was more liquid in it and that, and that mm. worked straight away and it went whoosh, yeah. straight above and that I was a bit frustrating yeah. oh. plastic as well it's so annoying yeah. Yeah. so did you feel really bad Joyce with your Covid it was it was all terribly weird I can tell you because I could oh. not keep my eyes open Oh God, I'm having mine done this afternoon. The day I had it, <laughs> yeah. and then the next, the next day I felt yuck, 
Um, oh gosh. But it only, that was it. That was fine after that. Everyone's right. there. Chrissy yeah. didn't feel anything, mm. so. Mm. Yeah, I had mine on Wednesday, Carol. And it was I'll go to. Right, yeah. yeah. I had no effects well, whatsoever. My, I reckon my top tip that comes straight to my head is make a load of sandwiches before you go. <laughs> <laughs> Big plate of sandwiches, yeah. put them in the fridge. At least you ain't got to worry about cooking. You could just have a sandwich while you're feeling ill in bed. <laughs> oh, I ain't got time to do that. <laughs> it's worse than having to cook something oh. when you're aching all over and that. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Never I mind. Think, I think, but, Carol, yeah. it, was, it was a different uh, mix to what I've had before. Yeah, well, and I was uh, I was fine. I was fine previously. Oh well, a lot of people are going down with funny things, so aren't they? Mm. That... But you're pleased you came here now. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's it was a tough. It was a tough project. This one. It was stupid. <laughs> the trees were hard, weren't they? Oh God, I'm in trees. <laughs> well, we're not resting on our laurels. It's going to get a lot worse over the next few weeks. Oh God, that. that was all right. Mel That's quite liked it. <laughs> she said, said, I, said I haven't seen any of the artwork for a while. Well, she's probably forgot, but. I thought, yeah, Carol's was good because it had the, where's it gone? She yeah. Put that post, very clever, put the post on the, an extra post. Oh, there. yeah. Oh. Well, I had the big bit of paper because I did the drawing. I thought, oh, I better, I extended all the rail. <laughs> <laughs> Gives it a good, a nicer mm. perspective, that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, you've done a good job there. And that what actually this... looks a bit like Emily, that one. Oh, does it? <laughs> Mel used to have curly hair like that. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Back in the day. Mm. As you get older, it all falls out, doesn't it? And goes a bit, yeah. Yeah, that was Chrissy's. Mm. I like the contract. Nice contract. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Right, let's turn this off. I think. Yeah, I mean... It was a tough ask. It was. I'm kind of out of all of it. The, the seat itself was the hardest. Yeah. Oh, mine wasn't. Well, I was very finding, good. wasn't it? I was, and then I oh, came yeah. back Wednesday morning and I was still thinking, trying think to it get was, it to stand out. It was the colour of it. I think, you know, if it had been in a, a colour other, other than white, it would have been easier. Well, I did I think of putting some stripes on mine, but I never yeah. got round to it. <laughs> That would have cracked it, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But at the end of the day, the, the I did say last week, before it started, that, um, what's going on here? They would all end, no matter how you painted it, it would end up looking like a David Hockney modern art type picture. And they, mm -hmm. all, they all do. It's oh. just that, that view, that sort of, sort of take on it i think mm. i think beating ourselves up a bit carol's put an extra flower of flower. i mean it's great <laughs> loads of um stuff going on i'm tempted to do it again talk about an idiot oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does to do it again that's the main no. thing <laughs> well there is oh. there is a part two to it but we'll I'll, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, but the part two is a lot easier. Okay, right. We'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. This oh. morning's down to Carol. Oh yeah. Well, blame me. <laughs> My <laughs> daughter. She took the picture. <laughs> Who took it? Your daughter. Yeah, they went up to Scotland. Yeah. But she's now she's put it on Facebook or something. She keeps getting pictures of them, and apparently they all light up at night. I bet it yeah, they do. Oh, right. Yeah. Fabulous. Lovely. Yeah. yeah, they've got all... Um... That's it. Yeah, they all light up with Ellie. they got... Ellie. It's metal, isn't it? It's just a mm. load of metal panels stuck together. Must look, yeah. 
because that thing they've put down by Asda, that lights up, doesn't it? Or perhaps nobody's seen it. Have any of you been no. to Asda? Well, you know no, where all the all the traffic lights are and they're all going one way and the yeah. other one way. There was a yeah. bit of land in the middle by the tyre bit. And it, I think it's like, um, it's like rope. It's the knot, it's isn't a, it? Oh, yeah, a knot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is a special knot to do with sailing, isn't it? Because I know um, I came home a bit dusk one night. I thought, oh, it's got light. It lights up at night. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> No, I haven't seen it at night. I've seen it loads of times during the day. But yeah, no, oh. a couple. Of, I think Carol sent a couple of images. Yeah, I sent some just of the horses, didn't I? Close up. Yeah. Well, I think I cropped it as well. So there's variations on the theme. Problem is, once you've sketched it using one, then you look at another. You think, oh, I should have used that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem of yours get but the, the feel of it's cool enough i don't know what's going to happen this morning i've decided i'll, I'll throw in i like that one yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i do there's not so much in it below is there? <laughs> i, I wonder if my... i'm just going for the horses i think <laughs> yeah. it's just that one cropped up oh yeah because all, all i got uh where's it gone I think I did send you one with it like that, close. Yeah, yeah close. So, they took oh, two I, of them. If I do that, then it crop, I can crop mm -hmm. it smaller. I was going to send you the other thing, but it was very mechanical. The, the um, Where the barge goes into this machine thing and it goes round and then it goes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. That's on the video. And I thought, oh no, we don't want to draw that, do we? A bit boring, no. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> there was another picture with with just the barge on the river, and I thought, oh, well, you've done one of those, so we don't want that. Yeah. Well, I. I ought to ask my niece because she takes nice pictures. She's always going somewhere. She won't mind me, but it all depends. She did a load in Italy, but it was all of like um, statues and bits and bobs. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I haven't got my, I haven't got my um, hair dryer out, so. I don't know. I fancy an early lunch. Mm -hmm. Said I that last do, week. Uh, I might do yeah. mine black and white. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that was the. Yeah. I always tried to do a, create a print black and white because it brings out more of the tones. You, you know, you can see the shadows. That's the idea of it all. It'd be nice done in pen, wouldn't it, really? I don't know. Yeah, I'll but see. I quite... see what the mood takes me. <laughs> I've decided now I'm just going back to using the grid thing. I'm right. not, there's no, if Annie's watching, there's no no cheating here. <laughs> no, no, no tracing it. Well, there is, because once I've, I'm doing it on the um, detail paper. So I'll sketch on that and then use the trace down because I can put it where I want it. You can get a real good feel for it, you know, if you want mm. to. I don't, it doesn't really matter with this subject much. Well, obviously it matters, but you've got more, more scope to play with. Mm. <coughs> my, my new printer, I yes. printed it. It's only got four colours. The other one that I sold on eBay was a, a massive great A3 one for printing, big, you know, it'll mm. print this size, you know, for years ago for doing me prints of, to sell and that. But I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. That's printed out nice. Does the paper make a difference? Because mine, mine is... Yeah, it's on glossy... Oh, I see, like paper, photo. Does. But this... But the old one, I've got a sample here now, but 
the old print where well, the old printer I sold had eight colors in it. I don't think oh, it was gosh. eight. Some of the newer ones have got ten in. So you're you know you're ever on the on the lurch for mucking about with cartridges. This one's only got four colors. And Joyce knows about it. You you get like a plastic bottle and you tip it upside down. It fills the tank up and it's mm. it's supposed to last for a few years. Oh. I was quite fascinated by the tank thing. It's like a plastic bottle like this with a mm. a lid. You unscrew the lid and it's got like a a long shape mm. of it. A nozzle thing. You, you you've got to take a leap of faith because you got <laughs> to oh. it straight upside down and plonk <laughs> it on this thing on the <laughs> cartridge holder at the tank without it thinking. Well, that's going to spill. How's that going to work? <laughs> and you just sort of <laughs> gently put it on, and, and you can hear it going. Gluck, gluck, oh gosh! Gluck. <laughs> you must have a little micro valve in the top, and it just out it comes. And I've spilt that. I mean, printer ink die in the past years gone by and it ain't funny stuff <laughs> mm. it, a little bit goes one a heck of a long way a bit like my paintings <laughs> so anyway i i have no idea where well i've got a rough idea but i've got no preconceived thoughts about this picture that's a fib as well Crikey, I'm full of fibs because mm -hmm. I did think I was going to have a muck about with the sky. Ah, uh, my new brush. Oh, These are cat's ooh. tongues. Oh, but it isn't what I wanted. Uh. <laughs> this is a number eight. I wanted a really wide one, you know, so you could flip flop around like one of these mop brushes. So I've got to have another think about it. But it's a nice brush. I won't throw it away. And I've got some new riggers as well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but the riggers are the evergreen ones. Evergreen, which are the the ones they, we use for oils, acrylics and oils. So I, th I was hoping they'd have a, 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 a different feel to the whip, you know? Mm. Sometimes the other ones are a bit, you know, that one, that's a, I don't know what sort it is. It's a seat, that's a, that'll be um hair, you know, one of those sable ones. And that's really, you can almost feel it's soft. But these are much thicker well they've got less spring on them so i'm kind of hoping that it'll give us a, a a more direct line i haven't tried it yet but look out watch this space <laughs> right i'm just i am going to start with the sky but i decided that i'm not painting one of those gruesome skies I think mm, if you throw caution to the wind when it comes to the sky, because it's such a, a large chunk, it forms, it mm. determines what you're going to do with the rest of the picture. And that's good, um, almost a good aid or good teaching challenge to sort of shut your eyes and use any colour you've got in the tin. Why does it have to be blue all the time? Mm, with your pink sky light. Well, I in my in my box of tricks. Blimey. Right, my, my water all over. The place. There's some colours here that I haven't used for eight. Oh, there's that this colour here, which comes out of tube. These are not flesh. It's peach. Work that one out. That's a oh. um St. Petersburg peach colour, mm. which is a nice sort of interesting colour. There was that one. And the other one I've got here, which I haven't used for ages, is called Mocha. So 
So I thought, hmm, drop a bit of that in. I'm, go I'm not going complicated. It just maybe put a bit round by the horse. And then drop some blue in in a minute. Because those colours shouldn't go wonky with blue on them. Blend them in. I've made the paper nice and wet, but this wouldn't be a Tuesday morning if I didn't whinge about <laughs> two rivers paper being, or this thick one being so um, absorbent. So I'm just going to drop some blue into that, see what happens. It's a mix of cobalt and ultramarine in there. I've got a gap of white paper. Never seen a sky like this? You have now. <laughs> well, do I... I've tried to make it a bit lighter at the bottom so that the horizon disappears a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make of that. Mm -hmm. Try and get some cloudy bits. Well, I just thought it'd be a good, a nice sort of experiment. Just clean water on the brush now. See if I can move it around a bit. Thinking about it. It's all decisions now. Tease it down. Just clean water. Proper job. I did draw a pencil line where the sort of distant hills are, so that's not too bad, is it? Oh. If it'll dry well, I'm hoping it will. My, my thoughts are that it will, it will dry. As I say, I've kind of given up with this paper because it's sort of... I'm well, I'm convinced that it hasn't got a proper size on it. And it, you can see there's a big dark <laughs> spot there. Well, that's not, that's not me. That's the paper. It's got a... It's got something in it. We're on the it's just a bad surface. I think Gordon said the other day that he's had a few issues with it and you know where it's not been sized properly. Well, yesterday I was on the Jackson's website thinking, what shall I do for next? Next, um, next purchase. Once this paper is gone, once I, well, I usually buy some end of October, November. There's usually a little bit of spare cash comes through that I could use, so I tend to buy everything that I'm going to need for the next twelve months. And the Fabriano, what's it? Fabriano paper. I'm going to get a load of that next year. So it's all change. Mm. I quite like, I used to use it, ooh, 100 years ago when I first sort of started painting, really. See this paper, this um paper has soaked it all up through now. All that nice colour has sort of disappeared. So it's not going to be a one-stage sky. I'm going to have to let it dry. And either later on today or probably tomorrow, turn it upside down and have another go on it. I'm trying to dab out a row of what could be cloudy things at the cloudy things. <laughs> Very descriptive. Well... <laughs> 
I'm using tissue, but the better way is to get a damp brush with water on it and just lift them off with a tissue in one hand and just lift it off. Thanks to Charlie Evans for that. <laughs> That's why he always advocates doing it. And because your paper's damp, it all... Mm. Is what it is, but I can feel it's like yuck paper. Scary, scary. And while we've done the sky, we've got some water here. We? Started reading a new history book. I'm on the. Do you keep freezing? Is it just my? Has anybody else got the problem? No. no. Okay. It scares me when people say that. Yeah, no, it's just because I'm not. I'm not in. Um. Oh. <laughs> Now he's confused enough. We used to do that, Freddie Starr, wasn't it? Uh, 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 <laughs> he's so funny. He's gone, isn't he? Well, he was never here, but I mean, he's not. He's <laughs> I, no I, don't with us. Oh. I hope not. He was. He was a top I man. Was, no, I didn't like him at all. Isn't it? oh, it's just some of the things it's just so mad mm. just couldn't keep up with him <laughs> anyway a little bit more blue hey oh what's I say oh yeah one of the things I've been I finished my Henry the I'm an expert on a Henry the fifth <laughs> so I've started now is the Oxford um, history of England. They're they're like the thickness of the Bible. These books, oh, written by they're all credited, you know, Professor Doodah, what's it, and and all that. I've started reading that now. The Anglo Saxons. I've started with. Mm. Oh blimey! You think it's think it's violent now Ooh, go back then i only got on page three and i'm scared mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the worst out of the lot i came to the, well not worst as bad as anyone the flipping scots there's picks and scots they were just i was going to say animals no wonder the Romans built that blimmin' wall. I don't know. Maybe it was they didn't have any fields to grow anything, so they had to come down and nick it all. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know when I get to a, a later chapter. Mm. I'm just going to push that back up a bit. See if I can get some sort of feel of my neutral colour has always been that turquoise. And rose madder. Call it what you like. So I'm almost painting in reverse here. Just drop in a bit of that, I think. But I want hey, it. I'm going to leave and come back in. I can't follow this at all. It keeps freezing. You're okay. Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no restriction on entry. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm not freezing because I can see myself at the corner of my eye, and I'm, just, I'm going along fine. This is a nice colour. This um, peach and mocha. I'm surprised we haven't, I am, tweaked it before. I think I bought it for um, doing the portraits. 
at the moment we're just blocking in anyway so anything goes really isn't it bit of raw sienna clean water raw sienna this i think it's a field here yeah it is now <laughs> Bit of raw sienna on there. Just set the scene. And add a bit of the PG colour because that's got to be reflected in. Can't get any on there. On the scene from somewhere. If it's in the sky, it's got to come on into the picture. I'm really sorry about this because this paper is not. Very nice. It's making my picture look decidedly, well, at the moment, it's going to be the challenge today. Sort it out. Just going to put some more. I'm just looking for a few shadows going on the reference. Are you back, Chris? Oh. That's what she's it's still. It's still um, doing the same. Keeps freezing. Did you um re reset your phone? That's no, it. it's on the oh, it's on my tablet. No, I just I just went out and came back in again. Just go out and switch it off and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it does make a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, okay mm. then. I'll try it's that. Probably now. them. It's probably them road workers. <laughs> They've cut a cable. Hang on. <laughs> it's guys, my sky has dried off a bit, so got a little bug in here. I don't know what that is. Blame the dog. <laughs> he was running around in circles earlier. I Oh, hello. He's got a flay off his bottom. Right, I'm gonna, I'm going in with that shadow mix that I mixed, which was cobalt blue and hot tickety boo. Cobalt blue and crimson. Or permanent rose. So if I can. Gordon did a good uh, Himalayas mountain thing. He'll be watching this later saying, oh, Thank you, Dave. <laughs> he, did, he did a really Where good are, one. Where are they today? They're away. Might be. You must be. Anne texted me. She didn't say. Normally, she, if this just coming, she, she'll say "see you later" sort of thing. Ooh. Don't, oh, right. Got little lines. Very nice. It's not as blue as the photo. Distant doodahs, but don't care. It's got to reflect the sky that I've got. <clears throat> that I've got. So I'll put a bit of that peach in there as well. I'm trying to anticipate the paper because it's <laughs> it's very strange. Remember years ago, you used to get that paper out of the people used to turn up on a Tuesday with a new block of paper, and it'd be from the works. Oh. <laughs> and I and I remember saying, "Oh dear." First, as soon as I saw it, I think, oh, it's going to be trouble. Mm Happy -hmm. emotion. It was, wasn't it? It was proper yeah. blotting paper. Yeah. It's great for testing out colours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Burnt sienna. And a little bit of cobalt blue. Well, that give me a nice grey tint. Difficult to say, really. 
because I wanted to put a line. There's a line down here, isn't there? These people are walking on something. Is that a crisp or not? So far, so good. Oh. Was it a reboot? Did you reboot? I just switched it off and switched it on again. Well, it's lovely to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to be back. Mm. Sorry, that sounded patronising. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't meant to. I'll let you off. I don't even know what that word means, really. I probably do it all the time and don't even notice. <laughs> Bit of pink. So, I could be anybody else watching. I could be spending money here. They have to go on the St. Petersburg site and get some mocha and peach. Mm. Nice colours. Mm. Why don't you make your own colours? Because... I don't need to because they make it. <laughs> it just seems such a logical thing to do. Mocha. I t I, I'll tell you why I bought it. Was, I think it, it was one of the portraits was of a um, coloured guy or lady. I can't remember now. And I thought, oh, Mocha is like, the right, you know, texture for, mm. I don't like calling it black. People, just people with a different, not white, slightly different mm. colour, you know, and it seemed to fit in quite well. At the moment, I'm just blocking in, looking at, well, half looking at the picture, bit of raw sienna here and there. I have put some pencil lines where these sort of reed things are. So, I might as well. Just using the point of this thing, just to drop it in, see what happens. And later on, with those brand new posh riggers I got, I thought I could um, put some extra detail in. But this is dry. It's almost like you've used the wrong side of the paper. Mm. Very strange. Very, well, it's not. It's annoying, really. A little bit of blue. If I can tease it off. And on that top of that raw sienna, hopefully I'll get a greeny colour. Not really. So I have to make one. Hooker's green on top of it should work quite well. If not a little bit false. Add a little bit of raw sienna to it. It's a bit of st stupid boy. Wrong colour. It is an, a muted tone though. The green that you get from it. I've got this lovely golden yellow here from my empty tube that I cut in off from last week. We'll add a bit of that in. But it is a limited palette, really, because most of the the mocha, the peach, and the flesh, they're all of the same ilk. I've got one green, a light red, which is permanent rose, burnt sienna, Burnt Amber, that was raw sienna, I don't know what it is now. That's about it, isn't it? So, it's, I'm doing quite well, really, because I haven't got any flash colours involved. Well, if that's grass there, there's got to be grass over here. It's got to follow through, hasn't it? La la la, I'm enjoying this sort of bit in there. Well, now I've got the, the greeny, I've got the bit between my teeth here. Mm. 
But it's like I'm always saying, the um, if you put something in one part of a picture, invariably, you put it on the other side of it. Put some flashy trees in. Mm, you just froze on me then. Yeah, and me. That's weird, a, isn't it? There was yeah. a... <laughs> Yeah, there was a grey thing on this on my screen when you said it. I looked across, which could be my internet connection slow. There's only one problem with that, so I can't do nothing about it. Mm. So it's all right now. I'm moving now. Look, <laughs> <laughs> my wand is. I'm still wandering. <laughs> wandering. What am I doing? Oh, let's just put a bit of dude in there and find some trees. Make them bright, Dave. So I'm going to go. Just that yellow colour using the tip of the brush. Push them on. And they're going over here as well. Yeah. Still damp this paper, isn't it? After it's certainly Besides soaking up the paint, it seems to last quite long. It's our favourite bit, this, painting trees. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> so I'm going to have a practice with the, um, the new cat's tongue brush and see what that can do with a tree. Bit of, I'll put some yellow down, so I'm going to whack in some a little blue on top of the golden yellow it was but it has got a point on it doesn't have a lot of paint though well the point's good for the bottom bit isn't it you can just go like that mm. try and do the same the other side It's just, I just relate, I just decided it's part of my autistic tendency. I get an idea in my head and it has to be fulfilled. And, mm -hmm. and I saw this guy using a cat, well, he, he is American and he called it a cat's tongue. I thought, hmm, like you do. So, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, Google, you're, you're on Google, aren't you? I wonder, burnt umber and a little bit of dark green, bit of green, burnt umber and some a little smidgen of blue. See if I can find some, decide on which side I want the darks to flow. I'm going on the left. Or predominantly on the left. Just drop it in to one side of the the damp paper. You might get oh well, I mean that was a bit dark. It'll fade back there, won't it? Please fade <laughs> back. And I suppose you no, know, this side oh, it doesn't matter. The dark the shadows in the lights coming all over the place here. What colours should be like that? You should be able to do it like that. You know, sort of drop it in, the darks into the light, and it forms. You don't, you know it. It's trees. 
but you you haven't painted all of it you know <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. what i mean by that you, 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 they sort of form themselves out of the the blending of the water and the Otherwise, you'll be there for a week painting the same two inches of paper. This is just a little weak wash of that dark that I just mixed up and put in the trees. So I'm just bringing it forward to say there's some hint of foliage here. And I've got a big, when it dries, there's going to be a, they've put some sort of landscaping trees here, bush bushy tight ones so I'm going to drop them in as well push it up a bit and it's dried off well it's not too bad drop a few extra well they look like there's going to be some trees there to me that do right let's just going to stick another while I'm on a roll. Some point of paint these scary things in carries. What are they called? Mm -hmm. Carries. Is that Scottish for horse or something? Oh. Must be Celtic for a horse. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Come on, get on Google. <laughs> I suspect it. I think it is. It's seahorses, isn't it? Carries. The sometimes you get the the waves and they form. Looks like a horse. I think that's what they call them. Carries. Well, what an educating program today, right? <laughs> Bit of green in there, I think. Where that yellow is, I'm just going to drop in. I left a few little bits of white. Just going to drop in some doggy bits. Don't want it too far. The water will do the rest. I was doing it last week, if you recall. I was um, at that palette with lots of different greens in mm. still got it here now i did make it wet earlier i thought oh i might need the might need that that's fine i'm happy with that ish shadow there i'm not touching the that bit now i'm going to do the just going round from pitch to pitch really Start with a. I actually use the fan brush for this. Why not? Because I want it to be like, get some paint on it, my help. It's just here, isn't it? At the back of it, it's, it needs to have a sort of flick up over the top of the path. You know, I'll use a rigger or a smooth brush later just to flick a few extra darks in. Remember I said that, please, when mm -hmm. I've finished. And just going up there, lift it up. So I can flick up some fine lines. I've already got paint underneath it, so maybe not. That's okay. Do a burnt sienna, warm it up. Look at that. That day. Get my cat's tongue brush. <laughs> these are a bit interesting brushes, these. If I can get a green, a really tight green, thinking about it, I've got the really tight green, now I want to 
brighter bit of yellow first. Underneath it. Under colour, yeah. Did I say about anything about an early lunch? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think, hmm, maybe not. It's funny, isn't it? You can never get the brush that you want. I've got a really nice new brush here and I'm pushing it up. I'm ruining it. It did have a cat's tongue. Mm. I think it's got a cat's paw now. Mm. <laughs> Um, you're not supposed to I'll send it back they say you're not supposed to use them like that <laughs> right there's the green I want to flick some of that in the front mm -hmm. somehow nah I think I'll be better off with an ordinary brush start it off keep going Push it right. Didn't seem to work very well, though. No? It's a bit more colour. Green, more sienna. Sort of an olive type green, isn't it? This, this, this is a Terry Harrison brush that I've got, borrowed for this. It's actually called a, I think I've, I'm always saying this every week now, a foliage brush. So go on, do your, do your bit. Do some foliage. Hmm. Could be all right with some dark in later. Get in there. Put a bit on there. Gonna be some shadow there. Dee, dee, dee. So it's the way when you get a, a nice colour or a, a colour that you think, oh, that's not too bad. Keep going, spread it around. <laughs> well, no, because like I say, the balance it balances the picture anyway. Because it's if it's there, it's part of the light that, that that's part of the picture. You know that that green or that shade of whatever is formed within the picture by the light that's affecting the picture. Cool, oh, that's pretty heavy. Oh, look at that. That's true, though. I'm just using this brush really sweet. Just I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just let, letting it. I'm just stopping it from flopping madly and just flicking it across here and there see if i can build up some hmm. need to get down a bit give it some darks cross hatching the reflections really pushing them down and then Going back across. Almost working. It's a good technique. Especially at the fore, at the front. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We'll add some darts later. Well done. Seem to have sort of rescued this picture because I was looking at it just now thinking it's always the way though when you first start off and you're blocking in. You know, you're just forming, do that, and then you, then you look at the reference picture. You think this ain't nothing like it, or whatever, but you don't want it to be. You've got to keep kicking yourself. You know, say I'm not producing a facsimile of the picture. I'm, I'm following my. I'm all right. It was only for a split second, wasn't it? Am I back? Yep. Okay, you would turn me into a nervous doodah. 
<laughs> right. Perhaps you ought to have a little spring thing on the side of your painting and ping it every now and again so we know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sticking with the um, the colours that I've had, which was mixed up some of the grey and the tonal bits. And I'm just going to slap in a bit of subtle... When I sketched it, the pencil marks that I put, I added more for this where the shadow bits were. And now it's a matter of hopefully the girls will make the horse look like a girl horse and the boys will make the horse look like a boy horse. <laughs> How do we do that then? <laughs> I don't know. It's a yeah, it's no, one it's pink and one blue. <laughs> yeah. It's a preconceived, it's an inbuilt thing. Mm -hmm. And it happens more often than not. We'll see. We'll see. But when I, as I say, when I sketched it, I only did the outline and a few where the shadowy bits were. I just tried to make it a bit longer. Uh, you know, put some shadow darker lines on. I made that clean water and then just put a line of colour down. I'm going to have to do it here because my um tree sort of extended itself across into where that scary carry is oh no you can he no if you go on to um youtube oh didn't mean to do that if you go on to youtube and Type in the Kerry's, Kelpies, Kerry's, Kelpies, um, and click on the video. But you can get a, there's a video there of um, the big wheel um, working, you know, where the canal boat oh. goes, goes up, one goes up, one comes down. It's quite ingenious. Must have been invented by an Englishman. Couldn't have been a Scottish, surely. <laughs> uh, it's probably a collaboration. It looks good, though. I must admit, I was well impressed. Mm. And I've I spent quite a lot of time on narrowboats as a lad. Uh, I'm always reminding Mel of the time the narrowboat it was cold, so the narrowboat had a they have like a little stove inside, like a wood burning stove. It will take coal as well. And Mel running out the boat <laughs> she put the hot coals in a plastic coal bucket. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean they were red hot and she's running out. Ooh, ooh, running out of <laughs> with this um, melting bucket in her hand. <laughs> oh. oh, that was, um, it wasn't our boat. It was somebody, it was one of the, um, the lecturers at the college, Watford College. I can't remember his name. I'm sure I could if I wanted to. And um, we, he, he let us have his boat for the weekend mm -hmm. to go to Little Venice from Watford up the Grand Union and all that stuff. Just with a few students on board and me and Mel. He let me do it because I was the responsible one. Because mm. <laughs> I'd taken loads of boats out before. Mm -hmm. and go ahead. 
I don't know what happened there. I don't know if we bought him a new coal skull or what. what coal bucket. <laughs> Uh, it's one of those things it was before you had cameras on your phone because it would have made a brilliant um, movie poor old Mel running out of <laughs> a 70 foot canal boat with, I don't know if it probably went in the canal just splashed it straight in I'll have to use a bit of white on that bit won't I hmm. Chrissy, you should be able, if I was you, when I did <laughs> in acrylic, I'd paint these horses white first. And just mm. paint them white first so that they stand out really white. I'm using the white of the paper, but it's not really working. And I think um, these yeah. lines. Good tip. Mm. I think these well as you're doing it as you're doing these things you sort of think well <clears throat> what are you, either what what you should have done or what you would have done if you were using a different thing mm -hmm. the other thing I I might recommend is to do all these bits of metal using um, a watercolour pencil because they're so fiddly and doodle you could you can have spend ages just look for the dark darker ones and then drop in lots of little ones no one thing i did notice that there were six i think it was six main lines panels it's sort of there's one two three four yeah they sweep a lot mm. sweep around so you might want to keep an eye on that when you do that your picture other than that there's no real doodle it's just a question of going for it and deciding how many to put in? But like I say, maybe the early lunch is looking dodgy. That was, oh, I'm getting there. It's only a bit of art, isn't it? <laughs> so I'll probably have to touch up a bit of white. Here and there. That was burnt umber and blue. That's what I'm using for the darks. Just taking the edge off the brush on the paper. It's like a line, really. And they all go down, don't they? That's where your eyesight fails you, isn't it? Oh. And there's a dark spot right in there. Isn't it? Should tease him out a bit. Jo have you been up there, Joyce, and seen this thing? Has anybody been out there? No. <laughs>
Scary cowries. Kelpies. Kelpies. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. It's all a bit ish, isn't it? It is a watercolour at the end of the day, and it's got a watercolour feel to it. The only thing I, I would say is that this area over here is a bit more prominent. It looks like, well, everyone looks at the picture different, but it looks like there's a distinct layer of extra doodads. It is damp in there. It is got a sort of a... Hmm? Oh, gosh. Panic, <laughs> panic. It does have a shadow area in there, which you can exacerbate or not. Up to the, up to the how do we how do we do it? <laughs> As I say, frozen. I think you'll have fun with this, Chris. I think you'll enjoy it. Should she gone again? <laughs> It's frozen, I think. No. I'm not frozen. I can see my hand moving and everything. No, Chris. You there, yeah, Chris? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, oh. it did. It froze for a little while. Yeah. Like now, it's frozen again. Oh. Well. I'm looking at my screen. And can I'm... you hear me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <You're> God. Back... <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh. Go, go in again and come in back again. Yeah. It's worth it. This is one of the finest paintings I've ever done. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 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 Well, it looks good. <laughs> good, good option with the um, it's good op the opportunity with the boat or the hull. You can't actually see the boat, but you can see the hull of it. So it's a good, good opportunity to put um, a bit of spurious colour in. You can make up your own mind which colour to use. It could be bright yellow. Could be. Oh, I didn't Any know there was a like. boat there. Is that there. Well, there is a boat there, yes. Well, oh. it's on my picture. There is now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think blue might be of a not a nice colour. I've used that red, but yeah. Might have to might need to um add a fleck of white. Ooh. Oh, Bit reckless, wasn't it? Fell off me end of my brush. <laughs> well, I just had a bit of something, a bit more shadows here and there. Dave, I'm going to have to dash and say thank you. And um, I'm I'm way behind with my painting, but uh, oh. a chance to catch up. Be all right. You'll make it. Oh. You'll have to finish this soon. <laughs> have a good week, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, and you. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 That's a bad thing to say. Oh, by the way, I forgot this. I wanted to put some figures in. You know, use the rigger, add a few darks in there. Maybe think of an early lunch. Mm. I think I'm on. Um, yeah, I'm going for crackers today. Maybe if I put a little thing at the top of there, it'll look more like a boat. I'll put a bit of white in there or lift it off when it dries up. 
Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I know. I'm going to put a oops, stalk there. Stalk? Yeah. Start of a stalk. I've got some figures. What do you reckon? Yellow top? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Dave. All right, then. Oh, too much oh. water. Too much water. Uh, but they are in the sort of shadow. Ah, uh, you get all these disappointment moments. I'll let that dry off. Well, I've got a dog in there as well. Oh. <laughs> which ain't going to be easy because it's still damp. Go on. Do the tail first, then a little bit of body. Look a bit down a bit. Look a bit there. Oh, it's little Frodo. I can see him, my little dog. Yeah. <laughs> Like that. That'd do. And then take the edge off the brush and put some, just lay him down on the floor. There you go, boy. That's what we have. A few darts through the path that goes up through. And some posts, even if you want. You could put a few, a few in, but I'm, I'm not a great. I don't want too much interest to, well, I don't know, why not? A bit of interest in the centre of the picture, I suppose. And today, a few darks at the back here. Okay, this might be some buildings there as well. You can put some straight lines. They'll make it look like buildings. We don't know what they are. A few more there. Got a dry brush now, so I can squiggle <laughs> a few bits because it's um, not finished paper. So I'll get squiggly lines, broken up lines. That bit there is a shame because that's dried off. Uh, where the where the tree has gone in a bit, mm. but I'll off I, I might when it's dry you might be able to touch it up with a bit of white, um just for a bit of fun. I want to pick a blob of the yellow. And what shape is it? It's a, it's a triangle. So draw a yellow triangle, and then drop some horrible greeny colours into it. A bit of that. My green today seems to have been raw sienna and hooker's green blended together. So it gives a sort of an olivey green. Me cat tongue brush. Come on. Or is it? Mm. I think it's, like I said earlier, it's turned into a cat's paw. <laughs> <laughs> there's no more drop in some of that green on there I just saw that tree there's like a little tree thing and I just thought it might look nice as a mm. well might have to lift a few bits off got tissue in my hand paint went a bit blobby Lift a few bits on, and a few darker bits at the bottom. Flick them up. Hey, I've got a Scottish dream. Yeah, that's okay. Just a couple of darks on. A bit, a few extras. It's weird painting trees, isn't it? What we do is this <laughs> sort of. Doing it very subtly, trying to spread it about a bit. Just put an extra post in there. I didn't even. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Could actually put a few 
put a wire in, make it look like a fence, <laughs> just for a laugh. It's because I've got a, a fine line on my brush. And now I've got the rigger going. Just go up and down on this bit here. So if we can add a few more of those reedy things in. Dave, I'm going to, I'm going to um, make a move because... Um, oh, you're going out, aren't you? Going out for lunch with Cathy. Um, have a nice um, time. Yeah, I'll have to go soon. Well, what time is it? Um, 10, 10, 10 to 12. 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I was going for an early lunch anyway, so I've nearly finished. So yeah, no, it looks lovely. It does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look forward to this one. Have a nice oh, lunch. Yeah. Care, yeah, I better go. Peter's calling me anyway. I'll see you all next week. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye, Carol. Okay. Bye. Enjoy. Have a good week. All of you. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Sorry, Have just going too early. Bye, Bye. Have Bye. A nice lunch. <laughs> Bye. Hey, deserted. I am. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here because I can't go. Oh, oh. Hey All right, I'm going. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> then there was one. Good. Well, I've got to keep going because yeah. I've, I've got, got to finish the video. Mm. So it's not a problem. I've, I'm nearly there anyway. I've, it's all right. Oh, no, that's good. It's okay. Just add a few more dark. Once you get the rigor and some darks going, it's like whoosh, 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 and it? you just, mm. it sort of sets off the rest of the picture, really. I don't know what that is. But it is. Yeah, it's your darks really here and there. Use the rigor to flick up some more leaves, uh, reeds, twiggy bits, and then stop while you're ahead. The um, the horsey thing, no, I'm not convinced. Uh, it's gonna have to. Add a few extra darks here and there. Lift a bit off of there. Perhaps later, let it dry off. I can see what it is. It's, it's trouble watercolors. Can't get that intense whiteness that you can with oils. Mm or acrylics maybe, but even they're not that white. Yeah, stand back. Well, the sky faded back. Yeah, so what? Yeah, so look, I tell you what, I call her from <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> you know, I was a frustrated jock. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's like my Welsh accent always ends up being Pakistani, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. Who did that? Oh, I was, um, I'm not the first person to mention it because Sean Locke, the comedian, he, he died, but he was a yeah. really mm. brilliant comedian. He did a sketch once about that. He was doing a joke, a sort of a Welsh joke, <laughs> and he's he says, I'll try and do the accent, but after a little while, it turns out to be on Pakistani. <laughs> um, and I, uh, as soon as he said it, I, I knew exactly what he was on about. Yeah. Don't touch anything when it's, when you think it's wrong, leave it alone. Just, you know, do. Yep, I finished. Yeah, well, that looks really good. Early then, yeah. The yeah. colours are not too bad. I think tomorrow I might, uh, well, I will, I think. I'll, I'll get the white 
and just put some dabs of pure white in there mm. just to try and give it a little bit of um what about if you painted it white first Is that what yeah you that's what i said to chrissy i mean oh. it is an option to do that mm. it's not it's not a daft one either it's quite a good here's an evergreen mm. rigger which is these riggers are the reason i bought it was because they're they're thick they they've got less of a whip on them yeah so you can have a look at it it's a bit here isn't it but i can't do it because it's white and if i do it it'll look silly it'll blend in it'll just bleed in with the color yeah. which i don't really want but i think it'll be a sort of an l shape an l shape um tweak just do it i'm not going to do any more because it'll because it's yeah, damp and it'll it up. well it'll just blur the mm. blur what i'm trying to do just there it's just a, a bit, i think it's just a cross if you see if i, do, if I try to do it now Sex into the paper a bit, hmm. but hey ho, quit while you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> what I might do actually, while I've got the white there, is just put a line of white across there with some sort of half thing there. I'm only doing it really because I wanted to see what that rigor was like. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it's okay. I think the, um, it's dangerous once you get white on your palette, on your brush, because mm. it tends to defeat what you've already achieved or it can do. It's it will stand out. It stands out more than it should. So I'm going to rub it off. That'll do. When things are really damp, leave them alone. Because <laughs> mm. you'll be fighting it. Yeah, that's okay. A bit yeah, tighten no, up yeah. later. Over mm -hmm. to you, Lot. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to do the big horses and leave out the, a bit more of the countryside. I'm not yeah. very good at that. So. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I think it'd be all right. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm. The, um, the country bit, it's quite nice. I enjoyed that bit. Yeah. Have you mm. got, I can send you, where's the, I can send you an extra picture if you want. I've just got now what ones I have. I have got, I did print off the one with the bigger heads, I think. I haven't got it by me at the moment. So. Got that one. I think I've got a grid one with the bigger. Not that way. Go the other way. I'm looking for that one. That one. I think it was that one that I've probably printed off. Oh, that's all right. So as long as you've got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not more horse than countryside. <laughs> be good fun. I think mm. it's, like yeah. it's one of those pictures. It's a... But try well, my my idea is try and remember you painting a picture, not a photo. Yeah, I think that's probably where we go a bit wrong sometimes, trying to be perfect. That. Yeah, and if and use white the whitest paper you've got, <laughs> mm. then the horses will stand out a bit better. Yeah, it's for that now actually. We're not bad. Mm. Not bad.
Leave spotlight. Oh, right. Okay, change the camera. Got, no, that's not, not that one. <laughs> got buttons clicking everywhere. <laughs> Everyone's gone home for lunch, so yeah, we can't do the same. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Absolutely. I don't know if Mel and James have gone out. No, 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 they yeah. can't because we've got. I don't know if it's Sainsbury's or one of them. Turn it oh, right, coming. Sainsbury's right. or Odoko. Coming well, up. I'll be here next week, but after that, I'll be away for two weeks because I got my brother and his wife coming over from Vancouver. Brilliant. For ten days, so um, obviously I won't be able to do it while they're here. So, um, but I'll be here next week. So. Yeah, you can knock them out in half an hour. Cool. <laughs> Your brother. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Oh wow. Vancouver. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Mm. On the island. Sorry? Are they on the island? No, no, they're not. But I have been to Vancouver Island a few times. So, uh, so yeah. Big country. Yes, it is. Of course, they haven't been for about three years because of COVID. So, uh, so they they're coming to the homeland, aren't they? They are. <laughs> How long has he been over there? Oh, years. Um, he used to be in the RAF, and um, he was in there for nine years from the age of fifteen. So I suppose he was 24, 25 and he bought himself out and uh, went off to Canada and uh, been there ever since. So, so yeah, right. fifty. Nice place. 50 odd years. So, yeah, no, it is lovely. Uh, lovely yeah, scenery. Not too keen on bears. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They're big. Yeah. <laughs> and slightly can't read them, can you? Like, no. A dog, you know. I've not been anywhere near one, but. <laughs> yeah, somebody. Yeah. Just putting your rubbish out at night and. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit dodgy, isn't it, in some areas? So. It was a bloody grizzly. Mm. Oh, well, that's no, it's still a nice place. You get yeah. when you're in those situations, you learn to live with those things, don't you? Yeah, yeah, and they're, they're usually up in the wild, well, they don't come down to the big towns. Um, just, just, you just make sure you keep. Chucking food up on the hills out of the way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Crappy then. <laughs> All right, well, I'll well, um, see you next week then. Yeah, love and leave you. Yeah, enjoy your lunch. Bye, okay. everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye.